Yeah. A lot of attractive people out there tonight. That's good. That's tight. Uh, anybody in a, in a relationship? You guys in relationships out there? A couple people? Yeah. That's dope. Uh, I, that's whatever. I don't really care. Uh, no, actually, that sucks. It's depressing for me because I, I just went through a breakup. I literally, three months ago, just went through a breakup. Uh, you know, it's, it's super sad. This is going to be real, a huge bummer for everybody to hear for the next six minutes. <laughs> No, it's fine. It was a, it was a mutual. It was like a mutual decision. You guys know what that is. Like we sat down, we uh, we hashed it out for a while. We came to the mutual decision that uh, I'm a complete asshole, uh, <laughs> incapable of uh, loving another person. I'll probably be alone forever. It's funny how two people can just mutually uh, come to that conclusion on their own. It's so it's so weird. That's how relationships work, though. Uh, my problem. I realize my problem as far as like relationships go. Uh, it's it's kind of like genetic. Um, I'm a man. Uh, that's it. That's just the, the one problem. I'm a man, so that means like I have to be right about everything. I have to win every argument, and I'll fight you if you disagree with me. That's that's how being a man is. People are like, I don't know if that's funny or just true. If you're like here with a man, you're like, I don't know if I can laugh next to him. Uh, I'm not proud of it. It sucks. Uh, toward the end of our relationship, this is just an example. My girlfriend, she wanted to buy like a high-end blender, which kind of grounds for breakup to be with. Like, let's be honest, that's a little weird. You don't need a $300 blender to make a $2 smoothie. That's, that is, math doesn't add up. But she came to me and she's like, I think, I think I'm gonna buy a Vitamix blender. I feel like that's the best blender out there. I was like, oh, you feel that way? Because uh, in fact, Blendtec blenders are the best blender on the market, both at the consumer and professional grade. She said, well, Vitamix blenders, they spin so fast, uh, they can turn your vegetables into hot soup within minutes. I said, that's fucking Bush League, Megan. Uh, <laughs> Blendtec blenders, not only can they do that, they have a 3.8 horsepower motor, and patented polycarbonate, tri-blade, steel blades that could liquefy an iPhone. And she said, why would you ever need to liquefy your iPhone? I said, it's not about needing to liquefy an iPhone. I just want to know that I can liquefy my iPhone at the touch of a button. We watched Snowden together. You don't get me! <laughs> so we broke up. <laughs> and it's because it's because I'm an asshole. <laughs> it's because I'm an asshole. Um, and I would never date a psychopath that thinks a Vitamix blender is better than a Blendtec blender. Guys, this is going to be a lot of blender material. I am still working all blender jokes tonight. Uh, if you guys uh, if you guys aren't in a relationship, you guys uh, out there dating? Anybody single? Single? Yeah. That's tight. That's tight. You guys on the apps? You guys fucking around? No, no, I don't believe that. <laughs> I see you, I see you out there. I'm gonna scroll backstage, I'll see you. I'm on the apps, I'm on all the apps. All of them. Tinder, Bumble, OkCupid, okay Farmers Only, HelloFresh, don't kink shame me, don't kink shame me. I'm going through uh, you know, some, some self growth. What is a kumquat? Is that a sexual command or a fruit? I don't know, I don't know, I wanna know, I wanna know. Go with, go with me on this journey, let's figure out what exotic fruits are and how you eat them. I don't know. I, I've realized, I found, okay, this is what I found out about the dating apps right now. Um, it's like really cool to be ethically non-monogamous. Are you guys familiar? Uh, any poly people in the house tonight? No? Okay. I don't believe you. Statistically, that's inaccurate. Like, you man, who you're like, no, your boyfriend's probably like, well, I am, but she's not. Yeah. That's how it works. That's how it works. Uh, like, polyamory, I don't know. You know, I get it. Like, to me, polyamory is a lot like communism. You got, like, that shit should work every time. On paper, that checks out 100%. Once you bring people into the mix, though, somebody's always going to be run over by a tank. <laughs> it, settle down. An emotional tank. An emotional tank. An emotional tank, unless you're dating Michael Dukakis, and then you've got some problems. And if you're not laughing, you need to go home and Google Michael Dukakis, because that joke, that joke is fire, and you guys are not appreciating it. Anyway, uh, dating. <laughs> it's funny. I matched with this girl, and I thought I thought things were gonna be great. She she uh, uh, she had a list of likes and dislikes. In her likes column, it was uh, taking her dogs on hikes going to the beach, drinking margaritas with her girls. I can get down with all that. I like that. We share those likes. That's tight. Uh, dislikes calm. 
one thing, just uh, small dicks. That was it. Just small dicks. <laughs> Not genocide or herpes. Small dicks. What a monster. I love her. We're dating. She's amazing. No, I can't hate. You can't. I can't hate on women for for like what they write or like what they would say in dating apps because I have I have female friends on these apps and they've showed me what like vile filth men will write to them on these apps. Some of you are women. You're familiar. <laughs> and it's it's insane. Like if you're if you're a woman on one of these dating apps and you. Uh, you like don't respond to a dude within like the first 15 seconds. He just sends you like 38 death threats and three dick pics. Like, like he's writing out the script to a Law & Order SVU episode in real time. Ah, you guys have been great. My name's Carl Berger. Thank you very much.